I just finished installing this safety grab bar in our bathroom so that my wife who is still very strong, a little lifetime athlete but deeply disabled on a number of levels could safely have something to grab hold of when getting into and out of this high sided clawfoot bathtub. Now don't mind the bucket in there that's just soaking some laundry for the moment. Anyway you'd think this was a simple operation and until recently I thought so. We had a grab rail that I installed up in Anaconda, Montana before we moved down to Colorado and later here to Arizona. But it just happened to be the only one that Ace Hardware had and when we got here that one is still in storage somewhere so I went to Lowe's to pick up a new safety bar. But amazingly they had a huge variety of the things and I discovered that there were choices to be made and that those choices the choice that you did make could be really quite important. I brought home two. This one here has a much smaller diameter and I have felt that perhaps her hand, which is smaller than mine, could grip it more easily than uh, the larger one over here. Well, it turned out when I talked to her that was not an issue because she likes, as she puts it, big things in her hand. Um, we're not going to go there particularly, but that was fortunate because this one has something quite remarkable that I had not seen before. Let me get down here where the light is the best because uh, we're kind of limited on light here. If you can see the the actual, there, there, the comparison between the surface. You see the upper part of the surface has this peened, they call it, I suppose like a ball peen hammer hitting it. They have this peened, roughed up surface that provides a much better grip, especially to wet fingers, than this slick little pipe over here. Now I tested it in the store and I could go like this and get a pretty good little grip but if I put that same kind of grip on this one it slipped right off. So I was actually relieved when she chose this one on the left. The other factor involved besides diameter and whether you go with a slick surface or a peened surface, well Lowe's actually had one that was made out of plastic in there. I think that would have to be a very poor choice for almost anyone. But the other is the length. The one that she chose is also the longer of the pair. The longest one that they had in the store actually some 42 inches in length. And what that does, if I can get back here in the corner of the bathroom so that you can see the whole thing, that gives her enough height to the pipe that she can reach it straight out from the level of the rim of the tub or standing up straight. She's only five feet tall, so that's not difficult. I'm uh, standing on the floor now, reaching straight out from my shoulder. I'm closer to six feet, and there's the grip. So even I would have to be from the tub, I, I, I would be reaching almost straight out because it's up a few inches off the floor. I don't need it yet, but I'll use it. So I was very pleased that she grabbed the one that I thought was the best in many ways. And I thought it was worthwhile for you to understand, if you're having to make that kind of decision as well, that these differences are available out there. Now the other thing is, each one of these has, they're made by the same manufacturer, they have three screws here, this collar just slides back, you have to snap it off, I'm not going to bother to do that right now. It's kind of a pain to snap off, which means it holds pretty well when it's snapped on to cover it when it's all done. 
that's all I had to say right now, except that Pam has test driven this particular safety grab bar. She took a shower and a bath right after I put it together. I had to run to town, actually chasing some more of her med refills. And when I got home, she was both alive and clean. So apparently the larger bar, the longer bar with the better grip of the peen to surface was the right choice. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.